Hey guys, my name is Red, and there's a weird party going on on the top of my roof. But, this view might come familiar for you, especially if you're watching this video. Now, we all know that all is starting to rain, that's just great. <laughs> so we all have seen this before, right? When you want to place a wall around your beloved town, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, you just can't get these junk fences close enough to each other to close up the gaps, which is quite annoying. To be fair, I don't like it one bit. So I've been trying to find out um, solutions for this, and I just have to quickly peek here. Um, move this fence, this this little window here. Uh, there was a post on Reddit by Contingency Pen. Now this Reddit user has found a amazing way to lock these fences into each other or any other item you want to really and um, not be worried about uh, you know the not being able to put them close together so as it goes well I could show you how I used to solve this problem on my old um, on my sanctuary settlement and I just grab one of these small wall ends and just try to find a nice angle where I could place it as close as possible to the wall and there's still a gap so that really didn't float my boat until I found out what con contingency pen oh my god that name uh, until I read what he found out and I started using it on these fences so first he tried it out with beds uh, placing them in a the house or closer to other furniture um, so you could use this technique to uh, fill in your houses a lot more, um... Uh... English is not my first language, I'm sorry. Uh, to save space, right? So, step one, you take one of the floor mats. I'm using the fourth floor mat in this case, which is, um, which is the one that looks the most like the ground texture. You know, you don't really see much of it. And you place it down. I'm actually going to place down two because I have two bits of wall that I want to connect and now we're gonna go over to step two which is to grab the fence that you want to connect and you slap it on the rug now if that went well I'm gonna tr put it on this one here as well so if I just did that correctly you should now be able to pick up the floor mat and the wall moves with it. Now, the workshop only takes the placement of the floor mat into account, which means that you can clip this wall into anything. So right now I'm clipping it into the wall I want to fit it into, the corner wall in this case, and E, and it's placed. Look at that, no gaps whatsoever. That's ingenious. It's great, and you can barely see the mat as well. You just see a little bit of texturing. You can even move the wall closer to the edge of the mat and it would still work. Uh, at the back you can't even see it because the the, the floor slightly goes up here. Um, so that's even better. And uh, I can do the same here with this wall and place it right. Ah, uh, that should be it. Right there so now we have a nice seamless wall there's also other things you can apply this with um, like let's say you want a you know a, a nice ramp at the back of the wall at the defended side uh, where NPCs or you yourself could walk over and patrol the wall the great wall of uh, Game of Thrones or something else um, and I'll just quickly show you that it's, it's not just that much work so I'll just go for, I'll estimate the height just to be about this. We're just messing up this here, but that's okay. The, s the settlers will find another way to get up there. Um, and I can grab one of these floor mats and place, let's see, uh, place it right there. Let's have a look at it. Yes, it works. So I'm just quickly going to grab a bit of staircase here and lock that onto this. Or you can't actually lock it, but I'll just put it right like that. 
And as you can see, now you have a sort of a, you know, castle wall uh, idea. And, you know, this mat all... Uh, I think it costs two cloth and one rubber. And that's really all the extra resource you're going to need for this trick. And you can actually build really nice walls around your uh, settlement. So I hope you guys found this... Uh, useful <laughs> and if it if it was please think about giving me a thumbs up which is really gonna help me and my channel and um also big up for con contingency pen <laughs> it's a mouthful um for finding this out and uh as i said you can use this on several things i'm not sure if i can go back into workshop mode and move the whole thing around now no just the wall but you know just as well it works really nice. You can use it with different things as well, like generators, maybe, uh, dog houses, your dog, your neighbor, um, super mutants, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's a, it's a very nice thing to have until maybe there's a patch or until there's a mod. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you on another video. Goodbye. <laughs>